Good evening. What's going on there, folks? It is Earthmaster here once again. Late, late night update on this Thursday, September 2nd, 2021 evening, about 10.20 p.m. West Coast time in California. The late, latest quake is going to be a 2.5 earthquake striking around the, looks like the Northern California area. You can see that in the uh, green flag. Let's go ahead and check out some of the uh, earthquake activity around the globe here today. A little bit of movement just within the last hour or so along the west coast ramping up, including some movement off the coast of Oregon just to the west of the Cascadia subduction zone at 3.0 uh, out there around the um, just north of the Blanco fracture zone. Cascadia sits over here uh, to the east about uh, 30 miles or so. That uh, 2.5 way up here around uh, looks like Lake Davis area five kilometers below the surface for that 2.5 haven't seen too much earthquake activity in this region recently a little bit of further movement also down here at the southern end of the Cascadia mega thrust area that's this area down here a 2.2 at 14.5 kilometers general movement up here into the Pacific Northwest relatively quiet uh, just a little bit of a Microquakes throughout the uh, Cascades. Also a 2.0 up uh, near Fairwinds, Canada. This one rather deep, 57 kilometers into the uh, subduction zone there. Uh, what else we got here? Northern California. Just a little bit of activity ramping up here, folks. North of Lake Tahoe, we're seeing a little bit of movement as well. A couple small microquakes around the Fernley area. And activity ramping up here around the Antelope Valley area as well. Nothing significant, but still an indicator of uh, some heightened seismic pressure in the region. Down here in the San Joaquin Valley, a 2.0 near Livingston, California, 4.9 kilometers down there into that region of the valley. Also Ridgecrest area getting in on quite a few aftershock sequences there in that area. Los Angeles, relatively quiet, a couple small microquakes uh, just to the uh, west of Santa Monica and up near uh, Simi, valley, Simi Valley area, Santa Clarita. Nothing major in that region. Uh, some scattered quakes out and about the San Jacinto Fault area and areas up here on the North American side of that plate boundary near Big Bear City. Not for sure what type of uh, fault systems are up here, but just a couple small microquakes kicking off and a little bit of further movement out here around the Salton Sea area of Southern California. Still getting some movement into the Intermountain West region along this fold or this mountain area, mountainous area. You can kind of see it just brushed up against here, including that little swarming of activity taking place out there in the Utah area. Some small, very small microquakes. Oklahoma, though, r ramping up on the earthquake department around the Inid area and also around Woodward. Seeing some activity kick up here. I'm wondering what's out there. Should we take a look? Do we dare take a look and see? what's out there in the satellite view uh what do we got what do we got as we get closer inland what do we see out there folks some beautiful farmhouses maybe some nice camping spots or do i see some injection wells and pumping operations within the vicinity that's exactly what we have out there taking place around that part of oklahoma and i wouldn't uh, wouldn't doubt it this is the same type of setup here right around the uh, pumping operations you can see all those uh this here looks like a maybe a house or something but there's definitely a whole bunch of uh pumping operations within the region and the vicinity so that's what's kind of taking place there in the oklahoma area down south here uh pecos texas area getting in on some uh, further movement in a cluster of quakes some threes kicking off here in this area as well, 3.3. Good indicator of uh, some, some movement uh, along the North American plate. Eastern part of the country, pretty quiet for the most part, uh, including down here around the Puerto Rico area. Things are fairly quiet except for this little uh, quake right smack dab on the Puerto Rico trench area, 3.9 at 66 kilometers uh, below the surface there. Uh, Peru just had a little earthquake. Let's see. I don't believe that's the one. 4.9. I don't believe that's the one here. 4.9 is up here. 
within the last uh, hour, they had a uh, another 4.9, but further south. Uh, looks like about five kilometers. This one here just occurring, like I said, just a uh, just about ooh 15 minutes ago. Yeah, about 15 minutes ago in that UTC time. So USGS not picking up uh, that 4.9, which is further down here yet. But the EMSC model showing some deeper movement uh, in this area with that 4.9 earthquake. Uh, down here in the South Sandwich area, uh, the trench, seeing a little heightened earthquake activity over the past day or so. Kind of been going through these phases. Quite a few fours in the upper five, 5.6 earthquake. Relatively deep movement here into the South Sandwich Trench area. See that 5.6 uh, at 41 kilometers and the 4.9 at 64 kilometers uh, below the surface. Uh, what do we got here around the Mediterranean area around Greece? A couple fours kicking off. Nothing significant. Some further activity over here around the uh, 5.2. Wow, that one's pretty deep there. 430 kilometers over here, well west of the um, Kamachaka Trench region. Look at that. Wow. Also down here along the Japan Trench, low 4.5. Pretty quiet through the Solomon Islands area and, and the Indonesia region. Uh, Papua New Guinea, extremely quiet as well. Might want to pay close attention to that region for further movement here real soon. 5.2 along the Kermadec Trench at the surface area at 10 kilometers. Hawaii, let's go ahead and check out that hot spot of volcanic activity. Starting to see a little bit of activity kick up around the Mauna Loa area. Just to the west here, a little swarming of activity. Nothing major at this point, but something worth watching pretty closely. Diminishing earthquake activity and volcanic movement here in the Kilauea area. Um, still some movement right around the crater. Just some microquakes there. Uh, what else we got here, folks? Let's check out the Yellowstone thumbnails. Not a whole lot going on. Not a whole lot going on at all. No, no major swarming. No uh, magma movement or intrusion that I can see. The trimmer along the Pacific Northwest. Wow, that's kind of shocking. Zero. Zero epicenters of trimmer in the Pacific Northwest. All right, folks, have a good night. We're going to jump off here. Enjoy the rest of the evening. I hope everyone else does as well. Stay safe. We will chat you guys later. It looks like the USGS upgraded that 5.0 or that 4. Uh, that 4.9 that the EMSC model had upgraded by the USGS here to a 5.0 earthquake. A little slow, USGS, but better late than never, right? All right, guys, have a good night. Enjoy your evening. We will chat you guys another time. Stay safe out there.